O God, come to our aid. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the second candle of Advent is a candle of peace. It is sometimes called the Bethlehem candle to remind us of the place in which preparations were made to receive the child Christ. Peace is a gift that we must be prepared for. God gives us the gift of peace when we turn to him in faith. The prophet Isaiah calls Christ the Prince of Peace. Through John the Baptist and all the other prophets, God asks us to prepare our hearts so that he may come in. Our hope is in God and in his Son, Jesus Christ. Our peace is found in him. And we now light our second candle this evening of the Advent wreath to remind us that he brings peace to all who trust in him.
loving God, we thank you for the peace you give us through Jesus Christ. Help us to prepare our hearts to receive him, and in doing so, guide us in all that we say and do. As we celebrate today the start of the second week of Advent, we rejoice, as always, in the first coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. But we also await his second coming in glory. And as we await this coming, St. John the Baptist is set before us as our Advent companion for this, the second week of Advent. John's life was penitential in the extreme, but there was no sadness in it. As the herald and forerunner of the Lord, he is placed before us today to stir us out of our complacency with the call, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand, and prepare the way for the Lord. Unlike Lent, Advent is not primarily a penitential season, but it does invite us to acknowledge what in our lives stands in the way of our Saviour's coming and give him the one true home he truly desires, the home of our hearts. That is why the call of St. John the Baptist to repentance is an urgent invitation for us to prepare a way for the Lord into our hearts. And when we come right down to it, that is what Advent is really about. And we're asked to do this because there are dark corners of ourselves which we do not want disturbed even though we are well aware that they prevent God from entering our innermost being. And so for a few minutes, let us reflect on what is within ourselves that we need to repent of. Perhaps it's a lack of charity, pride, anger, vanity, lack of forgiveness, habitual sin, failing to acknowledge sin, failing to do the good we could have done. What do we need to do or change in order to truly prepare the way for the Lord into our hearts? prepare the way. Everything we do can prepare the way for God, for God makes his home among us, and Jesus is born to dwell within each of us. In love and in friendship, 
There is a meeting place of God and people. As in the love and the promise of Mary, there was a space for God to become one of us. In our human love, we prepare the way for the love of God. In our human forgiveness, we prepare the way for the forgiveness of God. In our human compassion, we prepare the way for the compassion of God. Our human work for the betterment of people prepares the way for the justice of God. And our human way of reconciliation for the grace of reconciliation of God and his people. In love, forgiveness and compassion, we are sharing in the very life of God. Without our cooperation, there can be no justice of God, no reconciliation of God, no speaking of the word of God. For without our voice, the word of God is silent. Advent invites us to choose love, to commit our lives, to prepare the way for God. It is our faith, a faith born of love, a faith born in the everyday, as Jesus was born of Mary, that the Lord is born each year in the desire of his people. So to live within the love of God and share this love in life. God our Father, through the power of the Holy Spirit, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to come as a little child, to lead us on our Advent journey, as we prepare this Advent for his coming again, open our hearts to the wonder of his presence in our lives. Heal our wounds, bless our endeavors, and make us gentle of heart. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <coughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. When Adam and Eve sinned in paradise, they lost their right to happiness. But God promised to send his only son to regain this happiness for them. Out of all the world, God chose Mary to be the mother of his son. One day, the angel Gabriel from heaven appeared to her. Hail, full of grace, he cried. And he told her that she was to be the mother of the Most High. Mary answered, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. At that moment, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, God's Son, entered the world. This is called the Incarnation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.
visitation. The angel Gabriel told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth, though an old lady, was to have a little son. This son was St. John the Baptist. So immediately Mary hurried over the hills to take care of her cousin. When Elizabeth saw her, she cried, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Mary answered by singing the Magnificat. Mary stayed with her cousin until John the Baptist was born. She was Elizabeth's little nurse and maid servant. When John was born and Elizabeth was strong again, Mary returned to her own home to wait for the birth of her own dear son, Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.
the Nativity. The proud Roman Emperor ordered all his citizens to pay their taxes in their home cities. So Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary traveled to Bethlehem. Bethlehem was so full of visitors that they could not find a place to sleep. So they went out to a little stable in a hill. And there, Jesus, the Savior of the world, was born. A glorious star shone in the heavens. Angels sang glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Shepherds came to adore the newborn king. Wise men from the east brought him lovely gifts. Mary was deeply happy. She lifted him high for the world to see. This was the first Christmas. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.
the presentation. All men and women are the children of God. The holy Jews carried each firstborn son to the temple and offered him to God. Then in his place, they gave God a lamb, or if they were poor, a pair of pure white doves. So Mary carried her son to the temple. She offered him to God. Then, because she was poor, she offered in his place two white doves. But a great prophet called Simeon saw the baby and knew this was the savior of the world. He cried aloud in his joy. And a wise old lady named Anna blessed him and his dear mother. Then Mary carried her son home again. She was his beloved nurse and teacher and protector. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy.
the finding in the temple. The Jewish temple was God's house on earth. When Jesus was 12 years old, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem, where the temple stood. Jesus loved his father's house. So when Mary and Joseph returned to Nazareth, their hometown, he stayed behind. He knew that God wished him to stay longer in his father's house. Soon Mary and Joseph found that Jesus was lost. They hurried back to the temple. But three days and nights they looked everywhere for him. Finally they found him, seated among the doctors and priests. He was asking them wise questions and teaching them about the Savior. He did this because this was his father's business. Then quietly he returned to Nazareth with Joseph and Mary. And for the rest of his youth, he was perfectly obedient to them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, 
and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The weeks of Advent prepare for Christmas. All we associate with Christmas prepares us for Jesus, for his birth in the love of Mary and Joseph. All of us can be like John the Baptist, preparing a room for Jesus Christ in our families, among friends, in schools and workplaces preparing a room in our hearts for love. Our Christmas weeks can be like empty tinsel, singing the songs of Christmas and forgetting the birth, or playing Santa and pretending love, or being so busy that you wish it was already over. But it need not be like this. Allow time these days for prayer, for moments taken in a busy day, like stopping in the heavy traffic and just remembering that Jesus is near. Take time for friendship, for love, for care, for those activities that grow our friendship and love with the people who mean a lot. Take time these days for the poor, for ensuring that someone's Christmas will be better because of your generosity. Then the songs will be full and gifts will be reminders of love. And Santa, the friend of children, will be like the Christ child. Then love for God and others will come to birth at Christmas. My hidden Lord Jesus, I love you and thank you with profound gratitude for uniting yourself with fallen humanity. When you first entered into this world, you remained hidden for nine months in the immaculate womb of your blessed mother. She carried you body and soul within the sanctuary of her body. She also carried you within her heart as a result of her perfect love for you and her perfect obedience to the will of the Father. Precious Lord, as I embrace this Advent season, 
Please open my eyes to see the great value and blessing of your incarnation. Help me to discover your hidden presence in this world and within my own soul. I desire to see, understand and experience the profound effects that your incarnation has on my life. And I desire to receive those effects more fully this Advent. May I become a sanctuary in which you dwell, so that I, like your dear mother, may bring your presence into the world. My loving Jesus, I choose you this Advent as my King and my God. I abandon myself to you and seek to put all my trust in your tender care. Draw me close to you and free me from my sin so that I may love you with a pure and holy heart. Mother Mary, as you carried your dear son in your immaculate womb, you also carried him in your heart. Pray for me this Advent, that I may surrender myself to the will of the Father. You said yes to all that God asked of you, and never hesitated to fully embrace his divine will. Pray that I may imitate your perfect example so as to share a deeper union with you and your divine Son. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen.
Anam de Cheli Preciish. Oremus. Come at all this wondrous presence, bow to Christ, the source of grace. Here is kept the ancient promise of God's earthly dwelling place. Sight is blind before God's glory. Faith alone may see his face. Glory be to God the Father. Praise to his eternal Son. Adoration to the Spirit. Bond of love in Godhead one. Blessed be God by all creation. Joyously while ages run. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 